How is the new Tacoma grab handle and would I recommend it? Well, good morning everybody. How are you today? Pretty good here. So how is the new Tacoma grab handle? You know, I installed this thing on here about, I don't know, a couple, three months ago, something like that. And uh, I've been living with it ever since. So I thought I'd get on here, let you guys know my impressions of it after having it for a while and whether it's any good. You know, it's not the cheapest thing out there. I think it was 279 bucks or something like that, 200 and some dollars. Um, so we're gonna start in the beginning and that is the install. And I'll leave a link down below um, to the video for the install so you guys can see how this is done. And I gotta say, for me, the install was a bear for what it should be. I mean, it's two screws, two bolts, right? You take off the trim panel and you put this thing on. You have to insert this little I don't know what you call it, a little nut-like thing that you put in, and then you screw into that. There's already a hole in the pillar there, so it's not really that complicated. The problem is trying to thread that screw into the thread, if you will, in the nut that you have to put in there, right? Because you have to have that thing seated in there just perfectly, the perfect angle, or the threads won't grab, it won't go. I spent, and I've talked about this before, I spent probably, oh, I don't know, hour and a half, maybe two hours, just trying to get one bolt in. Very frustrating, and, and I gotta say, in my younger days, I probably would have grabbed a nail or a staple gun and just, or maybe even a rope or some duct tape, put that thing in there, right? But as I've matured, I've gotten more patient, and I did spend the time, and I did finally get it. Now, I know there's a lot of people out there who weren't as patient as I was. Um, some of the people even returned it, I was told. So that part of it was kind of a drag. Definitely shouldn't be that difficult. But let's get past that. It's installed, it's in. What does it look like? You know, I mentioned in my install video that I thought the coloring or the shading on it was a little bit different than what the OEM side was or the passenger side, right? And I do believe it is a hair bit different, right? But not enough that you can tell. When I'm sitting here right now looking at the both of them, I can't really tell any difference between the texturing or the shade or any of that. I would never even notice unless I was being very, very picky and in the right light or maybe the wrong light as the case may be. So it's pretty good as far as that goes. Uh, the quality of it, there was one little area when I first got it, I thought it was like a piece of lint or something stuck to the inside edge of the handle itself, right? So I kind of tried to wipe that off, it wouldn't come off. So then I kind of pulled on it a little bit and I realized it was actually fiber. I don't know how this thing is made. Maybe it was plastic fibers, I don't know, but it was actually like fibers from the handle itself. They couldn't be removed because they are the handle. They are part of the handle. So what I did, I just took a Sharpie marker and I kind of colored in that little area, if you will. And it's not too bad. I mean, if I look at it, yeah, I can see it. If anybody else looked at it, eh, probably not, but they might notice. So the quality, yeah, a little off. I've also heard some reports from folks that um, the covers that go over the bolts once you put them in uh, weren't staying in. In other words, they put that cover in there and it wouldn't clip. It would just fall out. I heard that a few times. Now, I got to say, first of all, that it should work. I mean, they should fit in there. You shouldn't have to do anything. However, if it were me and I had that problem, I would probably just take a little dab of Gorilla Glue or Super Glue or maybe even some double-sided tape or something and just stick it up in there just to move on and be done with it, right? I mean, if I spent two hours trying to put a bolt in and then a cover wouldn't stay up, I sure as heck wouldn't take it off and ship it back to the company. 
I do know some people have done that as well, and there's nothing wrong with that. That probably is what one should do, right? But I'm not gonna go through that whole exercise, take it off and send it back, just not gonna happen for me. What about the functionality of it? Well, obviously, it's a grab handle, right? It's supposed to make it easier to get in and out of the truck, particularly into the truck. And I gotta say, I use it every time I get in the truck. You know, the way I have my truck parked in my garage, I have a lift over the top of it. So I kind of have to, kinda, that's my little move right there. I kind of have to do this to get into the truck anyway. Otherwise, I smash my head uh, on my lift. So I grab it every time I get out of the, or into the truck rather. No problems with it, it's rock solid, it doesn't move. I will say I do hear a little noise from it every once in a while, you know, like when you put pressure on something and you can hear a little bit of a sound or a noise. I do catch that once in a while, but I can't feel any movement. In looking at it, I don't see that anything has shifted. There are seams that you can look at, right? None of that has moved, it's not loose. God forbid, that would mean I'd have to do something with the bolts, right? It's not loose or anything like that. So pretty good as far as, the, as that goes. Uh, I'm not concerned without it, or about that rather, not long term in the least. I think it will be just as durable as the passenger side. And while I'm speaking about the passenger side, I have had that one off to install the tweeters that I put in the dash, the speakers, and it is installed the exact same way. Um, so with about the exact same bolt, I think even, as far as size goes. So there is no difference there as far as the hardware that's, that's used. The last thing that I'll mention with this, you know, shortly after I put the video out, and I'm not saying I had anything to do with this, but they ran out. So they had to reorder. These do come from overseas. That means they have to be manufactured and then most likely stuck on a boat. That's four weeks on the water. Uh, let's figure anywhere from who knows four to 12 weeks for manufacturing it could be longer uh, so there's quite a long lead time when these things aren't in stock and I know a lot of people out there were frustrated they ordered these they were on some kind of a list they didn't come right away I'm sure there's a lot of people out there who don't have them now I know when they first came out there was a pre-order and some folks waited over a year which is absurd to get these. I don't think they should have been brought to market uh, before there was at least ample stock for a first run. This was a highly anticipated mod. Many people wanted and probably still do want a grab handle on that side. So I think the company kind of uh, guessed wrong when they stocked up for these to begin with. So that's been a little frustrating uh, for a lot of people out there, I know. Overall, I love it, it works perfectly. I don't have any complaints about it, just nitpicky things. I would do it again, even if I had to spend that two hours putting that one bolt in, because it's well worth it to me to have that handle to grab onto instead of putting wear on my steering wheel, pushing down on my door, grabbing my seat, I don't know, throwing some kind of a rope through the truck to pull myself, you know, it's crazy. That should be there from the factory. It's gonna be very interesting to see if on the fourth gen Tacoma that's upcoming in, who knows, three to four years, whether or not they will have one of those stock. Anyway, leave a comment. If you've got this, let me know. Uh, how has it been for you? Are you happy with it? And did you have any troubles installing it? I'd be curious to know. Also, real quick, I have two additional channels. The first is Rob Motive JT, all about my new Jeep Gladiator. And the second is Rob Motive Civic, all about my experiences with the Honda Civic Type R and the Honda Civic Sport Hatchback. Check them out if you're interested. Please consider subscribing. Don't forget to click that notification bell so that you don't miss out on any upcoming videos. And do me a favor, smash that subscribe button on the way out. Thanks for watching. Stay safe out there. Bye.